Hello everyone, welcome to RBI classes and I would like to introduce you all with uh, our new teacher in the actuaries department that is Shruti ma'am and now she is going to explain few of the tips and tricks and techniques about preparation with respect to asset examination the common mistakes students used to do in their examination so listen this video carefully and this might be helpful for your asset examination and uh, do subscribe the channel if you need more videos want to know more about the actual examination so ma'am will be coming up with many videos in the future so don't forget to subscribe it and uh, if you have any question you can just put it into the comment box and we'll try to answer all of your questions with respect to your asset examination so this video will be covering that strategy to prepare for the asset examination the mistakes student used to do in the examination so if you got to know the mistakes student used to do prepare yourself before that you will not commit the same mistakes in the examination and I hope this video will be useful to you. Thank you. Hey guys, hope you are doing well. If you are left with only 30 days for your ACET exam and haven't prepared it nicely or haven't prepared it all, then this video is going to help you a lot as in this video I am going to discuss about the strategy that you should follow to clear your ACET exam. And this strategy is based on my own experience. So let's start the video. Okay, firstly, uh, you, as you know, there are five subjects, mathematics, statistics, data interpretation, logical reasoning and English. So my strategy here will be to complete each subject one by one so that I can focus on each subject nicely. But everybody are not comfortable. So you can do it uh, simultaneously even uh, whatever, either way, whatever suits you. Okay. So uh, firstly, mathematics. It majorly consists of your plus two syllabus only that is differentiation, integration, vectors uh, which won't take you much time plus two there are also new topics um, that will also not take you much time but practice, practice it a lot and uh, if you practice it nicely then it is a very scoring part for you and uh, giving five days to it will be good. Yeah. Next is statistic. I'll recommend you to focus more in this part because uh, in this part you have some topics that is covered in your further actuarial papers even uh, like random variable or uh, distributions, correlation regression. It is also covered in your CS1 syllabus also. Okay. So next is uh, your logical reasoning here they will uh, check your basic intelligence and they will give you general aptitude questions so practice it as much as you can because practice will only help you in this subject there is nothing to memorize or something so yeah giving two days to it will be good to know the concepts and all yeah uh, next is uh, data interpretation this is a uh, this is also a scoring part and a calculative one you will give in uh, you will be given some data and some computational questions based on those data so yeah if you practice it then it is also a very scoring part yes then is your english now this is something tough according to me because uh, here they are going to check your communication skills uh, there will be questions from uh, grammar antonyms synonyms finding mistakes in the sentences so there will be questions you will be confused between two choices okay so yeah if you are good with the communication skills then it is not going to be tough for you but if you are not good at then you can improve it by uh, reading english newspapers english novels so yeah it is going to help you but here you also have an advantage that you don't have negative marking uh, which is very good you can attempt as many questions as you can and i will recommend you to attempt all the questions okay so here 18 days are already gone and you are now left with only 12 days so in this 12 days you have to do the most important things that is 
Firstly, you have to solve the past 10 year questions of ACET, which is very, very important. Uh, you will get to know what type of questions you are getting in exams and give it as a mock test. Test yourself, note down the mistakes you are doing and practice those areas again and again. So that this way, it is going to help you a lot. Okay. And secondly, you have to revise the concepts all the concepts of the five subjects simultaneously so that you don't forget the concepts okay so this will be my strategy to uh, for clearing ACET exam and I would recommend you to follow the active material of PAC and stats pack for mathematics and statistics subject and they have given some CAT books for uh, English data interpretation and logical reasoning so yeah you can follow that now I want to focus on some common mistakes that uh, students generally do that is okay firstly don't panic okay uh, because hota hai, exam time oh shit ye question nahi aa raha hai time itna baki hai ya ye sab sab bhool jao don't don't panic ki itna baki hai itna nahi baki hai jo kar rahe hai usme focus karo because exam time kaam rehna bahut zaruri hai because there are only all calculative questions, computational questions, general aptitude questions, jaha dimaag chalna chahiye. So, panic, panic, panicking will uh, not help you, uh, it, balki jo padhe hai, wo bhi bhool jayenge. So yeah, don't panic. Then next is, there is nothing to memorize. Okay, so don't memorize the concepts. Understand it and practice it on daily basis. So you will get better on that. But don't memorize it because it won't help you. Practicing will help you. Okay. Because all there are all cal calculative questions. So what will you memorize? Yeah. So yeah. Don't memorize it. Practice a lot. And lastly I want to say uh, the last mistake basically is that uh, people don't plan uh, their study. Or basically they don't, they don't prepare a study plan. So this is very important. You can follow my strategy or make a strategy of your own, but plan your study. Otherwise, last minute me wo pura ekdam khichdi pak jayega. Ye yad hai, wo yad nahi hai. Bahut khichdi pak jayega aur ab panic ho jayenge and sab kharab ho jayega. So, matlab nahi hai. Isliye pehle hi plan kar lo apna study. Okay, you can follow the strategy or make a strategy of your own, whatever suits you. Okay. So these were some common mistakes that people generally do and uh, try to not do it in your exams. So yeah, be determined and be focused, be calm, stay positive and go for it. Yes, all the best. Thank you. So now you have seen the video. If you have any further questions, any queries, with respect to asset examination you can just message me on the given number uh, whatsapp link is given in the description box and we'll be waiting for your response and make sure if you like the video just give a thumbs up to it thank you